we may experience some severe rain and definitely thunderstorms. Hey everyone, hope you're doing great. In this video, full self driving beta version 11.4.4 would take me to Costco downtown Montreal uh, near Griffin Town. Some of you may already know that version 11.4.6 has already started to roll out to the public. I still don't have it, but it's just a matter of time before it comes. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, open the subscription menu, and select all to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Great job, really good job at uh, making this left turn. But again, it's making it slightly too narrow. It's better to go slightly more straight and then turn because it's ending up always either in the median, uh, like the place that we're not supposed to go to or crossing over the stop line of opposite traffic. I'm not too sure why it slowed down here, but uh wasn't an abrupt stop okay here it makes sense maybe somebody wants to cross in front of the bus but uh, okay it's starting to make a bit more sense the slowdowns but at least the great thing that I'm enjoying a lot is that it's not slamming on the brake it's just slowing down okay this was slightly over too much slowing down I mean it could just go around the person without having to slow down same thing here turn here okay the brake was a bit too abrupt but it seems like it will make it this time okay go for it go okay I'm using some throttle just because I might be worried about the pedestrian but anyways just uh, disengage to uh, go over that uh, sidewalk slowly because it's a bit uh, harsh all right let's go to Costco okay let's see Ooh, okay Okay, let's see how it does now, because <laughs> it cannot really do that now that it didn't turn its wheel enough. And there's no one around at least. Let's see how it's going to get out of this parking lot. Okay, there's a vehicle coming on the left, so I'm forcing it with some throttle. Okay, now I'm doing nothing. You know, those cars are parked, right? Uh, <laughs> they're not going to move. I may have to disengage because it could have gone that way, but I didn't turn the wheel enough. Okay, disengaging here. Beta did not turn the steering wheel enough initially, which uh, caused it to be stuck uh, around the parked vehicles. Let's see how it does now. Good job. Oh, it needs to let the pedestrian cross. Uh, okay. Beta was still creeping when there was a pedestrian car coming close and they needed to cross and they had priority. Okay, uh, yeah, that's why I thought it's waiting for that pedestrian here. By the way, just just to let you know, anything in parking lots, I'm not counting as any disengagement or uh, intervention because it's not really officially capable of handling parking lots yet. Okay, it needs to start gripping now. I have to force it with throttle. Okay, good job at creeping. Now that vehicle is going to turn towards us, and uh, yeah. Okay, good job. I should have waited for that. I should have gone earlier because I wouldn't have had to wait for that white car, and um, and then you know be in the middle of the road blocking everything. <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, it did a good job. I just. Um, once that white vehicle passed, I used sl some slight throttle just to encourage it to start moving and instead of being stuck in the middle. Okay, now it should go around, but I doubt it will do it. 
Anyways, it's not the only dummy here, like the Uber driver in front of us is doing the same thing. Okay, it's slowing down too much. I still haven't intervened. Okay, I'm giving it some throttle here, because it's uh, way too much. Understand why it slowed down. I did not have to slam on the brake. The person was running to their door. And obviously, if somebody is, uh, you know, doing something in their trunk, they're not going to cross the road. They're they're going to check something in their car. I believe that person was just uh, dropping the seat so that he can fit more stuff. Okay, interesting. We interesting uh, maneuver here. But anyway, it's not very smart for a cyclist to. <laughs> go uh, on the wrong side of the road and yeah you will see the vehicle coming but uh, if there is a collision it's going to be your speed plus the speed of the vehicle co colliding with you so it's worse than being collided from the back okay so we're seeing that behavior again where beta knows that it needs to make a right turn uh, eventually and it's already trying to change lanes into a lane where there are parked vehicles. Now it's slowing down too much when it can actually go around that vehicle. So I'm using slight throttle and it, to, to push it through, and it, uh, it did it very well. It just has to just has to get more confidence. Good job staying because here this becomes a two lane, uh, three lane street. So. Good job in staying in the middle lane. Now it's slowing down too much, so I'm giving it some throttle. Like it should, it should realize quickly that you know there's no way you're getting between those cars because they're parked. They're not uh, waiting for traffic light or anything. And now it should, you know, go in behind that truck, and it's not doing it. So that's why I disengaged. Beta failed to make a swift lane change in front of parked cars and was going to go next to a vehicle that wanted to turn right with us. Okay, you should stop. Okay. Got too close to that truck. Beta was getting way too close to that truck in front of us and that truck has a metal very hard step on the bottom of their back, so we don't want to hit that truck. It was way too close to, for, for my comfort, and now it's slowing down unnecessarily. Okay, here, should, yeah, good job. Should keep its turn, uh, turn signal though, and it shouldn't slow down because we have priority now at uh, this has hindered traffic flow behind us and it should slow down now because we have a curve we better do it okay it's taking a good angle at the curve and the speed has actually slowed down a bit it was uh, was not very like i didn't really notice it but it did okay so now it should merge because oh okay it doesn't have to right away okay but good job, but uh, it's already planning to do a good job because that lane closes. I'm just reducing the speed because we don't want to be lingering next to that semi truck and anyway we don't have, we're not in a rush. So now it should change lane to the right because that's the exit lane. So let's see if it does it or when it does it at least. Okay, good job at noticing that. It's a bit too late, like I mean, I, there was no harm in changing lane earlier. But I mean, it's, it has done it, that's the point. It just doesn't uh, inspire a lot of confidence when it doesn't do it as soon as it can. Well, the idea is if there is no traffic, you know, you might as well get there as soon as you can. If there is traffic, that's a different uh, subject. 
Now, I don't know how far path planning has gotten to the neural networks because personally I can already project the path for, for my left turn, but I don't really see that being done yet, I mean, at least in the visualizations, maybe it's being done at the back end that they just don't want to show us the uh, uncertainty of the software. Maybe it could be like in the back end, you know, doing squiggly lines and stuff, and they don't want us to see that, maybe. Okay, that's a good, good path, good job. Probably one of the best left turns that I've seen with Beta. Come on, do your right turn, the right lane change. Could have done it a bit earlier because we had to cross over that solid white line, but it's okay. Nothing a human wouldn't have done. Good job. Turn signal is very appropriate for this uh, maneuver and very good job of going getting through the roundabout. Not too sure why it's stopping. Could be related to that pedestrian. And it, might, it was right stopping, but ironically, when the pedestrian was about to cross, but it did not really slow down. But then the pedestrian realized there was a car. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> The only comment I have here is there are two unspoken lanes and Beta just stayed in the middle and chose to go right away to the right most lane after the left turn. Uh, this could only be, you know, slightly dangerous if somebody is trying to pass us from the right, that's all. But besides that, it's, it was an okay maneuver. It's, it wasn't perfect, but it was an okay maneuver and relatively safe because we didn't have anyone behind us on the right trying to cross over, that to pass us, I mean. Good job with that right turn. Now we have train tracks somewhere here and I doubt that Beta is going to slow down for them. Beta failed to slow down for train tracks that are slightly over the height of the road which makes them like a speed bump. It wasn't even a voice memo. Anyways. I mean, this was a stop line, but there was no stop sign, in all fairness. We may experience some severe rain and definitely thunderstorms. Alright, so let's have fun in the parking lot. Increase wiper speed. That uh, wasn't really a bit as fault, that driver was way too harsh and too fast. A vehicle came in too fast and obstructed our way, so we had to go around it. So far, I mean, not so bad of a job. A little harsh on the turning, but uh, not so bad. So how is beta? Oh, so we're going to go that way, okay. By the way, guys, I don't know why uh, my wipers are jumping like that whenever it rains. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Uh, the only thing I have on my windshield is uh, the Lebo. Um, Actually, they don't have a brand. They install Aquapel. Okay, I'm 
maybe get some throttle just because it's too slow and uh, people don't really like to wait for uh, traffic lights but anyway we couldn't have made it but yeah for the wipers i have tried everything i've tried putting um what's it called uh silicone wd-14 and i've tried also uh wiping them often very often you know i take a microfiber cloth and put in it uh, spray some water in it with a little bit of soap and uh, wipe the wipers but it seems like under rain for some reason they just jump from my understanding it's just because there's extra friction and i don't know where the friction is from I don't understand why it's going that slow and uh, we have priority and on top of it like it goes slow and then right away as soon as we're in the turn it starts accelerating like uh, it's the opposite that needs to be done I just want to take a quick moment to address uh, velocity while taking turns or in a curve what beta currently does is when we have a clear path let's say to turn right or left beta starts by creeping unnecessarily and then all of a sudden it starts accelerating in the middle of the curve to an uncomfortable g-force the behavior i am hoping to see eventually is a smooth departure if we were stopped at a red light finding a comfortable velocity for the curve reaching it before we start the turn and maintaining the velocity until we can start straightening the wheel Maybe if I put some windshield washer fluid? No. Yeah, I'm using some throttle here because it's slowing down for that yellow sign. Blinking yellows. It seems that windshield washer helped the, the wipers. Might have to do... No, because I've seen another Tesla right, uh, right where we're, while we were waiting at the... Uh, Good job stopping because it's a yellow. Uh, while we were waiting at the other traffic light, I saw another Model 3 uh, and the wipers were not jumping. I don't know if... Uh, I don't think it's related to uh, anything in the water, in the rain. Okay, I'm using some throttle here because it, uh, there, we have a blinking green, which means we have priority for making a left turn and the car was not going. Okay, still, my foot is still on the throttle. I don't know why it's, it was hesitating back there. too wide on that turn but it's not so bad at least I didn't go all the way to the left probably with it probably did it on purpose I'm not too sure if it did good job all right so now we should be starting to accelerate to match the speed of the highway maybe when it sees that sign it will uh, change the speed limit but it doesn't even see that sign didn't even merge, it just followed the uh, white line on the side. If you heard the bottles clinging, that's just uh, beer bottles for uh, Sunday. We were inviting uh, people over. Okay, and then it doesn't see the construction sign. But it's really odd that I didn't recognize that uh, white 70 kilometers per hour speed limit sign. slowing down before oh the speed limit now now I, th I think this is uh, GPS data map data that uh, it used to recognize the uh, 50 kilometers per hour okay, let's see how it handles this blinking red light thank you okay I don't know why I did that but thank you for the other car for changing lanes because I'm not too sure if beta is going to go okay Beta for some reason was moving to the left in the middle of the intersection and it was obstructing the lane next to us. I don't know why it was doing that. Uh, could, it could be for vision, maybe because of uh, the camera position, but it's, it shouldn't do that. It should just creep forward. It seems that uh, the windshield washer have, has helped uh, the uh, wipers to be a bit less uh, sticky. I don't know what the cause is. Well, 
see that white SUV in front of us? I think it went on a red. So we should wait for that uh, arrow, the red arrow on the microphone. Stop at the stop sign, but I don't know why it stopped before though. Okay, you can go. See this moment, this, this creeping moment, I don't understand why it's there. Like, I could easily see with the uh, B pillar camera on the left that the, the cars are stopping for their red lines. So here on this ramp, I would start accelerating, getting to maybe, oh, maybe because the curve is sharp, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't slow down that much. 55 was good. I'm using some throttle here. And yeah, I would already adhere to the speed limit. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Beta, don't worry. I was slowing down because of that semi. I, I used a little bit of throttle just to. Okay, I'm using the turn signal because it does not seem to want to merge today. Not just today, it seems that since version 11.4.4, FSD has forgotten how to merge. At least do the official way of merging because it's like it's following the border white line of the highway and then it's just going in without the turn signal, which does not. Like, it does not let me know that it's about to merge and uh, I should now be ready every time we go on the highway and uh, look on the left and do my blind spot even though it's not using the turn signal because I'm used to see that uh, you know blind spot camera here when uh, it puts on the turn signal and I use that to check my blind spot and my left mirror at the same time because it has such a wide angle and such a good range of view although okay the beta has had the wrong speed limit it went down to 40 kilometers per hour on a 70 kilometers per hour zone this has been happening since my first tesla since 2020 on the at this highway at this area it puts on the like the the worst speed limit it's 40 on a 70 is really bad like uh, the car slows down i used to think it was a phantom braking but it turns out it's not it's just uh map data putting slower speed limits I'm just putting a higher speed limit so that beta takes over that uh, pickup truck with a uh, with the trailer because there's no point in staying behind them so now I should change lanes to the right because that's our exit and it does it a little too late like legally you're not supposed to do that because the white line is a solid one and it's not dotted so it should have done it earlier but at least it's sort of a graceful mistake because it was able to fix it and keep me on my route no don't go to the right stay on the left man I'm only counting this disengagement because Beta will have to learn to share the road eventually. Beta was unable to keep left for the left turn upcoming. Nah, upcoming left turn, my bad. <laughs> and now it's a little bit too much to the left because now if there was someone behind me who wanted to use that uh, left ramp, uh, it, uh, it's unable to slip behind me. If I was driving uh, off record, I would have taken over and put it back where it's supposed to be. I think the problem with auto wipers is... Auto wipers is just using all the other three settings that we have, sorry, other four settings that we already have in the, uh, in the car. Instead of uh, working as a detection system where it would be working like... Imagine where you're using the mist uh, wipe, drip wipe. Beta was going towards the wrong lane, hence putting us behind vehicles that are waiting to make a left turn on uh, Dekari. So yeah, as I was saying, the wipers, they should be like a... Not counting that one, as I found out Beta was about to go around the pickup. Oh, man. Beta failed to go around the vehicle. So yeah, the wipers should have like, the auto setting should be a setting of its own where the car literally with its the rain detection system would, uh, I'm using some throttle here because it's afraid of that vehicle here. Um, 
that auto setting should be like it has a the detection system and it, it should have like should be able to work between those settings that we already have like let's say if it's barely drizzling it should be able to basically just you know make wipes on its own in other words i think that the rain detection system should have only two settings drip wipe and high speed that way it will have more freedom instead of trying to fiddle around with the first three settings at least that's my opinion but here again the wipers are starting to jump again there must be some sort of lubricant in the windshield washer fluid For that uh, white, uh, I mean gray Subaru, and it is actually lucky today because it can it has enough room to do it, and there aren't any parked cars. And now it should be slowing down. Okay, good job. Because normally that we would have parked cars all the way here. should go now because it has plenty of time to go before that pedestrian great job at slowing down for the uh, speed the the, the tra no, not the speed bump not the traffic the sidewalk and it should not stay here okay so after some serious head scratching i have decided to still give it half a point for disengagement because in Beta's defense, not too long ago, the left turn lane was foolishly blocked by the construction workers, so the middle lane was used to make left turns, and I had to disengage previously multiple times to make it go into the rightmost lane to avoid waiting in traffic. I will set up a pop-up banner with a link to a video that has footage of uh, that construction on the top right corner. So the reason I still gave it half a point is because uh, Beta should learn to adapt eventually. Beta was in the wrong lane, it was a right turn only lane. Oh, look at that, a police officer. And they're going straight in a right turn only lane. Oh, they might be here because the... What the? 330? Yeah, that's why. They're, they're getting ready for the uh, time where the right lane is a bus reserved lane. Beta was changing lanes into a bus reserved lane. Normally here it would try to go into the bus reserved lane on the right so I think it's improving. So we have a total of 6.5 disengagements, 7 interventions and 1 voice memo. Thank you all for being a part of this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, open the subscription menu and select all to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Of course don't forget to have a wonderful rest of your day. Too early. After that parked car, fine. Come on, change lanes. Of course.